Hello, everyone. So uh, I am presenting here my poster. Basically, my research work is based on protein, protein, and protein ligand interruption for drug discovery. My name is Dr. Anwar Abla, and I am working as an assistant professor at the Department of Biosciences, Kamsat University, Islamabad. So basically, I am working with protein from these sources, including the spider venom, the bees venom, the snake venom, also working with the uh, plant protein, with bacteria, mushroom, and with the corona uh, viruses. So this is the uh, topic or title of my poster, structure function relationship and a mechanism of action of exploratory toxin D from Staphylococcus aureus. So first thing we have done is the sequence alignment of various uh, exploratory toxin from the Staphylococcus aureus and other uh, species also. So here you can see that they show a high degree of identity uh, with one another and the identity range from 50% to 70%. Uh, person. Although uh, the uh, toxin from other species have uh, some, uh, some identity less than uh, 42 uh, person. So what next we do, we have uh, modeled the three-dimensional structure of this uh, protein uh, using various uh, modeling program like Swiss model, the ITSR, and uh, uh, other program for the modeling. And we come to know that the structure of this uh, enzyme uh, is uh, composed of the various uh, alpha helix and beta sheet. And the ectocyte is uh, present at the junction of the uh, two beta, beta barrel. And this, uh, the ectocyte is composed of the three amino acids, histidine 97, serine 221, and aspartic uh, 147. Then we also find out the various interaction uh, in the structure of this protein. These are the hydrogen uh, bonding, and here are the disulfide bridges, and here are the hydrophobic interaction. So all these forces are stabilizing the three-dimensional structure of uh, this uh, enzyme. We also compare the ectocyte residue uh, with the other enzyme, and we can see here that uh, all the, uh, the three amino acids align well with each other. And these amino acids are stabilized by various uh, uh, contact uh, from other amino acids that is present in the structure of this enzyme. Uh, we also uh, do the structural alignment with the other enzyme uh, or the toxin uh, that is present in the uh, Staphylococcus aureus. So, you can see here that uh, they align well with each other, although they have some uh, differences uh, in their structure and their amino, amino acid residues. And uh, where they have some differences, these don't uh, align well with each other. And later on, you will see that due to these differences, the, uh, the specificity of these enzymes also vary from one enzyme to another enzyme. These are the surface charge distribution of the, these enzymes. So you can see here the, the ETD are the, the, the enzyme that we are studying are uh, highly uh, positively charged and a little bit neutral and negatively charged. Here you can see also the EPA, the exfoliator toxin E is uh, mostly uh, negative, uh, positively charged and a little bit negatively charged. Here you can see that the ETB is partially positive and partially negative. Here, the ETE is mostly negative, positively charged and a little bit uh, negatively charged. And the ETE from the other species are mostly uh, uh, positively charged. We have also some, uh, neg uh, some neutral uh, charge distribution in the, uh, the negatively charged part. So all these, uh, these uh, comparison show that why the uh, enzyme have different specificity, uh, specificity for their uh, substrate. These are the mechanism of action of these enzymes. So initially what it do, it come and uh, it attack on the carbonyl carbon of the substrate, which is the dismoglene one, and it make a complex with the dismoglene one. Later on, 
the the C terminal of the tismogenin one detached from the enzyme, and the N terminal is uh, also the N terminal is still attached to the enzyme. Then a water molecule come and attack on this bond here, and the N terminal part of the enzyme also detached from the uh, enzyme. So in this way, the tismogenin uh, one is uh, divided into two parts, and this is the basic function of this enzyme. And after this, you know that uh, the skin uh, has some uh, lesion or breakage and the uh, uh, microorganism enter into our uh, body. So thank you very much for your time and attention.